Hi everybody, welcome back to Cat's Book Nook. This is the second video for today. This is my To Be Read list for October. Uh, there are 12 physical books on this list, 6 audiobooks, and I am actually waiting on holds to come through. I think I've got three of those that should be coming up within the next couple of weeks. So I will probably talk about some of those books in my weekly wrap-up videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Books that I am continuing to listen to from last month are Beautiful Chaos, which is due in three days. I am on hour four, I think I've got 14, 12, 14, 12, 13 hours left on this book. And I will probably be listening to it on the way to Florida while Ray is asleep. The other book that I've got that is a continuation from last month is History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. I like this book, but after the events of yesterday, which I talked about in my September wrap-up video a little bit about, um, I could not get back into this book, so I set it off to the side for now. I will be taking this book on vacation with us, so that way I can restart it and pick it back up. Um, the other two books that I'm not going to show you guys because you guys have been hearing about them for months is Burnt Mountains, which is coming with us, and then Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. I don't want to finish the book. I need to finish the book. I will get through the book at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later and before this year is out. All right, so currently reading. Next, the four books that are continuations from Lat from September, Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, Sleeping Giants by Sylvan Nouvelle, Radio Silence by Alice Usman, and I picked the fifth season back up. So hopefully I can get to this after I get back from vacation because I will be taking the train more days than not. So, train book. So those are four books that are the continuation from last month. If you happen to watch my September to be read list, you'll know that I'm doing a project where I'm reading books off of my shelf. So I can start actually reading the books that I have picked up. Even if I've read them, again, read them already, they're still up for reading for, with this project. So every month I pick a new book. Uh, this month I just picked a book off the shelf because the random number generator was giving me a number and the books that I was picking for that number I didn't particularly care for. So this month I am reading The Tenth Kingdom by Catherine Wesley. This is a parallel universe where fairy tales and Cinderella and everybody is still alive and their ancestors, not ancestors, their procreations are destroying the kingdom and they're trying to make the kingdom work and this chick from New York gets pulled into this entire world and kind of how she handles it and the reason she's there and things like that. This was actually a mini series in either 99 or 2000. And my mom watched it, and that's the reason I kind of like this book. I've already read it once before. I actually own the miniseries somewhere. But I wanted to read something that I've read before, but not necessarily recently. I've read this book in like 2012-2013 when I got it. So this is the book of the month for me. Off my shelves. Uh, next up is a book club book read that I joined a local book club in Baltimore. It's an LGBT uh, book club. Not entirely sure how it's going to go. It looks like this is the first meetup that they've done and the book of the month is Homegoing by Yaya uh, I, I screwed that up. Yaya Gyasi. I think that's how you say her name. Not entirely sure, but I voted for this book because I've seen it on BookTube a lot, and I wanted to read this book anyway, so this just gives me a chance to read it with people physically and have a conversation around it face-to-face -face rather than via the computer. I love you guys very much, but yeah. 
we'll see how that goes. Um, other books on my to be read list. After Alice by Gregory Maguire. Um, I talked about this in one of my weekly wrap up videos. I'd started listening to the audiobook of this, but didn't get through it because the accent was super, super heavy. It's that old English Oxford accent that just, while I'm sitting there at work and I was listening to it, it was very hard to pay attention to what she was saying. So I figured pick up the physical copy, read it that way, and still get to enjoy one of his stories. Uh, second book is The Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. This is the continuation of the All Souls trilogy. This is book two. Um... Diana and Matthew are headed to Elizabethan, England, London, and to find some of Matthew's old friends. And yeah, we'll see how their story goes through this book. I am actually excited to get through this book. However, it's another thick book, and I have started having this thing about thick books lately. So we'll see how long that takes to get through. Uh, Discovery of Witches, when I actually finally sat down and read it, took, I'm going to say, almost a week to get through, just because there were other things going on. Another thick book this month is Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. The third book in this set comes out this month. Uh, don't remember what the name of it is, but The Diviners, I'm kind of interest interested to see how everything plays out because... The main character, Evie, threw everybody into the mainstream when they really didn't want to be there. So this is kind of the repercussions for those actions in the first book, continued in the second. Kind of looking forward to it, but not entirely sure. But I want to finish the series so that way I can say I finished the series this year. Um, I think in August, I listened to, yeah, August, I listened to The Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet by Jamie Ford. This is Songs of Willow Frost by Jamie Ford. Jamie researches his books very well. I love the character development he had in Hotel on the Corner. Um, this one, I'm not sure what the story is, but I just picked it up because it's Jamie Ford, <laughs> and authors that I like, I tend to continue to pick up their books because I know one of their books is really good, so pretty sure the next books are going to be really good too. He actually had a new book that came out this month that I'm waiting on hold for from the library, so um, not the name of the new book is escaping me, but ready to kind of see what the new book is. I know it's about the World's Fair in 1909 in Seattle, so kind of, yeah, looking forward to it. World's Fairs and the Pacific Northwest region is very interesting to me, just because you had the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, you had the Space Needle that came out of a World's Fair in Seattle, I want to say in the 1960s. Um, you had a few other World's Fair things. The Ferris wheel came out of 1983, 1893, sorry, 1893. And then just a whole bunch of different events that have happened because of World's Fairs. And the technology that has come out of those is just fascinating to me. So any type of book about the World's Fair, I'm going to try to pick up to read. A Halloween read this month because it is October. See What I Have Done by Sarah Schmidt. This is a Lizzie Borden story in the... Did Lizzie Borden actually kill her parents is kind of the way this, the inside cover, the synopsis reads. Um, you've got shifting perspectives from Lizzie, her older sister Emma, the housemaid, the, a stranger that came in to kind of um, investigate, all in, all wrapped up in a chilling, intimate story of a volatile household, sibling loyalty and betrayal, and a family devoid of love. So, murder mystery. 
why not? It's October. I'm not really into blood and guts, but I kind of always thought the Lizzie Borden story was extremely interesting. Although I haven't done a whole lot of research into it, I did kind I was interested in seeing the Christina Ricci um I don't remember if it was a movie or a series that they did about Lizzie Borden and what happened with that. So interested to read this book this month. Probably going to be one of my later reads, but we'll see. So those are all the physical books that are on my October to be read list. On my overdrive to be read list, and some of these we will get through on the way down to Florida because it is a 14 hour drive. Dragon Bones by Patricia Briggs is the first book in the Urog um, duology. I think I'm saying that right, but I've read that book before. I've I like that series or that duology, and I love Patricia Briggs' writing anyway. Some of the Mercy Thompson stuff is a little bit slow, and I'm ready for her to get back into other books that she has written. I would love a continuation of the um, of Masks and Wolfbane duology. I would love more books from that. But she said that those are kind of on hold until after the Mercy Thompson series is done. So fingers crossed. But uh, Dragon Bones, Dragon Blood. So I've got both books on the on my Overdrive list to read this month or listen to this month. I also have Cry Wolf by Patricia Briggs. That book actually just came in today. So a lot of Patricia Briggs books to listen to on our road trip. And I also have Life After Life by Kate Atkinson and Linger by Maggie Steve Otter. Linger is the second book in the Shiver series. Um, I don't really remember what happens in this book, so we will see, and I will be excited, and hopefully it's more about Sam than Grace, because I didn't particularly care for Grace's character in the first set, in the first book. I kind of found her whiny, and I keep talking about it, so we will see what happens in the next book. Um, holds that should be coming up within the next couple of weeks is Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. Crest should be coming up in a few weeks. And The Passage by Justin Cronin should be coming up in three weeks. So I need to get through some of the other books so that way I have space on my board for those books. And yeah, and those are all the holds that should be coming up soon. So I need to put another hold on for Overdrive. Need to get through some of my audiobooks on the road trip. And with that, that is this month's to be read list. Um, would love to hear what you guys are reading. If you guys are reading any of the books that I have posted in the description box below, I'm trying to post them, post what I'm reading down below. So if you didn't catch any, I'm not saying the names properly and you'd like to go check them out, you can. Um, if you just copy them and paste them into your Goodreads search function. Um, most of these books are fairly easy to find through Goodreads. Um, but yeah, with that, I hope you guys have a great October and I will talk to you guys on the 8th and let you guys know what we, what I read, what I listened to and what I got through this week. Talk to you guys soon.